Thursday of the fifth week of Easter, we, as we celebrate the month of May, crowning Mary, the mother who leads us in so many ways as both virgin and mother, giving us an example of life, giving us ways to grow, always leading us to be closer to the heart of her Son. And so we begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace those sinners we are made just, and through, though pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the Apostles and the Presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you, that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they the whole assembly fell silent, and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles in whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord, who accomplishes these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them to, by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to psalm will be, Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. 
Proclaim God's marvelous deeds for all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass. We pray for all members of the military. Please keep them safe, and let us keep us in them in our prayers. And so in this reading, we hear that the disciples are growing. They're getting the people to grow beyond what they think, that God's kingdom is only for them. That's now been opened up to the Gentiles. And we see how Paul and Barnabas describe the signs and wonders that have been done and worked through them for the Gentiles, that the Spirit has come upon them, on the Gentiles, in the same way that it came upon the Jewish disciples. And so... Again, God is opening up his salvation history, getting people to understand beyond what they think, where they've only turned inward with that faith. Now he's trying to turn them outward, recognizing that he has come to save all the nations. And so then we see in the gospel how the Lord tells us, remain in my love. Just like we heard with the, this past Sunday with Jesus is the true vine, that he is the vine. We are the branches. We get pruned. We must remain in him, because he's always going to remain with us. And so it, it challenges us, but it's also a great joy and a blessing to recognize that God is always with us, trying to get us to grow in this way, trying to get us to grow in that way, trying to keep us from going off this cliff, from falling into this pit. And so it's with great joy that we recognize how God sends that spirit. He remains true to us. He tells us he loves us time and time again. And then we were called to take that love and give it away to others so that we always brought, bring our faith out to others, that we proclaim the good news that our Jesus is Lord and that as we keep the commandments, then we truly live as he tells us to, to love our Father before all things and to love our neighbor as ourself. Let us stand for our petitions. We hear in the readings we are to remain with God, so we are always confident in Him that He, we, as we present our needs before Him. For the church, that we may continue to blossom on that true vine, that Jesus Christ, exercising true discipleship, that we will bear much fruit in the world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the newly baptized and all those who receive First Communion, 
here at St. Mary's, that they may be fervent in their love of Christ and their desire to reveal his love to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who gather in worship and all those who virtually we gather together, as we gather together spiritually, may we follow Jesus' commandments to love, to love others in word and in deed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, that Christ, the source of all life, will ease their pain, heal their illness, and restore them to their loved ones. We especially pray for Antioli and Jane Simmons. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, that they will remain in Christ eternal, especially Christine Bozofsky, mother of Father Matt Bozofsky, a classmate of mine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray the prayer that is in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, you have nourished your people and indeed all your creation from the very beginning. Continue to nourish us and grant the prayers we make in the name of your Son, the true vine, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Food of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times I claim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection we have, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We especially remember Christine Bozofsky, mother of Father Matt Bozofsky. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on your, our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your, your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. On, on behalf of St. Mary, we continue to pray for you, for especially those who are not able to come and join us in person. As we have more people vaccinated, we have more people coming in, my heart soars. Many ways, as I tell, when I've seen somebody for the first time in over a year, I said, we're all like the tulips that are just coming to spring out of the ground. It seems like overnight. And so with great rejoicing. But please know those who are still do not feel comfortable or have health issues that will continue to keep them away from us, please know that we are united, that we continue to pray for each other. So please know that I pray for you each and every day. And I ask deeply that you continue to keep me in prayer as we continue to move on, as we move on in, into a future that we don't all have the answers for and that we will have to be flexible with even at this point. So let's be patient with each other, be gentle with each other. If we're able to, to be vaccinated, please do so to keep yourself healthy and to keep other people healthy. 